Hello friends, welcome back to another awesome day. Day 68 of the 100 days of Algo trading with Python. Today, we will be learning some basic matrix calculations because this is really very basic but very important in the machine learning and deep learning. So without a further ado, let's get started because we will be finishing this in just two videos and then again we will be continue with the uh, remaining machine learning algorithms because it will be extensively used in all the machine learning algorithms. So that's why it becomes so important to learn the basics, right? So first of all, let me tell you what is matrix. A matrix is a 2D array of scalars with one or more columns and one or more rows. So we know that this is 1D array, right? And if we combine multiple 1D arrays, it becomes a 2D array, correct? This is 2D. And we know that if we combine multiple 2D arrays, it becomes a 3D array. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Right? This is 1D. When we combine multiple 1Ds, it became a 2D array. And when we combine multiple 2Ds, it becomes a 3D array. First of all, let's understand the matrix addition. So let's say we have two matrices. Uh, let's take a simple matrix of 2 by 2. So A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. And B is equals to 5, 6, 7 and 8. We will also take this example in Python because that is what we will be doing in future. right? So let's say if I want to add A plus B. Okay, so now in this addition what will happen? All the elements will get added so it is known as the element wise operation so what will be the solution so we have to write like this one and this five so one plus five then two plus six then three plus seven and then four plus eight and the result will be six eight ten and twelve similarly when we talk about subtraction it will also be the element wise operation so let me write c is equals to a minus b and uh, let me write also subtraction so and this was addition the first one so in this what will happen we have to write like 1 minus 5 then uh, 2 minus 6 3 minus 7 and 4 minus 8 so the result will be negative 5 negative 4 negative 4 and negative oh, actually this was 1 minus 5 so it will be negative correct so addition and subtraction is element wise operation it is same like what we do in uh, scalar uh, operations correct now we have multiplication so in this we will talk about only dot product because that is what the most important right dot product so out of all these operations this will be the most important so let's say we want to multiply two metrics right so for that you have to understand few rules so let's say you have two metrics and you want to go for the dot so in python you have to use np dot dot so in python we have to use the uh, np dot uh, method which we will understand okay so the rule for dot product is that the number of columns in the first matrix a must equal the number of rows in the second matrix b let me write it the number of columns let's say this is n in the first matrix a must equal the number of rows m in second matrix which is b so how i can write this i can write like a m n b and k so we can also define this like 
the matrix A must have the same number of columns as B has rows. If A is of shape M into N and B is of shape N into P, then C is of shape M into P. Let me write this. A is of shape M into N and B is of shape and into p then c is of shape m into p let's take an example of this so let's say we have a matrix a is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and b is equals to 1 2 3 so we can say here that this A has three rows and two columns and this B has two rows and two columns, right? So this is three by two and this is two by two, correct? So if I write C is equals to A into B. So now what you can do, you can write this one, get multiply with this one. So one into one, then this two will be multiplied with this three so two into three right similarly this three will get multiplied with this one so three into one plus this four will get multiplied with this three so it will be four into three similarly this five with this one five into one plus the six into this three so it will be six into three right and for the second column same this one into two plus two into four three into two plus four into four five into two plus six into four so then you can write like one plus six which is seven three plus twelve which is fifteen and five plus 18 which is 23 similarly this 2 plus 8 is 10 6 plus uh, 16 is 22 and 10 plus 24 is 34 correct so this is how the dot product works okay and let me write a description also for this so let's say if you have any kind of matrix so let's assume this is a11 then comma this is a12 this is a21 comma this is a22 and this is a31 and this is a32 so these all values are in like we always have in csv in excel file right so this is a column and this is a row so i can write and similarly let's say we have a b which is b11 comma b12 b21 comma b22 so when we perform the dot product i can write like this so we know that this a will multiply with this b11 so i can write like this a11 into b11 plus a12 into b21 Similarly, for the second row, A21 into B11 plus A22 into B21. Similarly, for the third row, A31 into B11 plus A32 into B21. Correct. Now, let's move to the next, which is this one, right? So, for that, Let's give a comma here okay now i can write like this a11 into b12 a11 into b12 this one then a12 into b22 plus a12 into b22 right similarly this a21 into b12 plus a22 into b22 similarly for third a31 into 
b12 plus a32 into b22 this was the basic uh, description you can use this any kind of matrix the only rule is that the number of columns in the first matrix must equal to the number of rows in second matrix right okay let's understand this with the help of an example in python so i'll be sharing my screen of the desktop so if you can see here okay let me first quickly import the pandas as pd and import uh and import numpy as np and i'll okay now okay let's define two matrices so a is equal to let's say one two and then this is the first row right and second row will be three and four and we know that this is a 2d matrix so i'll write like this correct similarly for b we have let's take it five six five six and then give a comma and seven eight and although we have learned this list 1d 2d 3d in previous python videos so you can refer that okay now we'll be using np dot array so for that what i'll do a array is equals to np dot array and i'll pass list one similarly for np dot array i'll pass the second one correct okay now let's print first print a and then b correct and if you print a array it will be a matrix a 2d matrix similarly when you print b array it will also be a 2d matrix now what we want to do first we want to add both of these right both of these matrix so what i can do i can write like uh, c is equals to a array plus b array and let's print c so you can see that this 1 plus 5 element wise 6 2 plus 6 8 3 plus 7 10 and 4 plus 8 12 right similarly we can also go for the subtraction so it will be a array minus b array and let's print c and you can see here it is all minus 4 and let me also write here in comment what we are doing so you can also refer if you want to so one is addition i'll just push this on github so you'll be able to use this and second is subtraction correct okay now the most important thing so what happened here you know that a is here and b is here so 1 into 5 which is 5 and 2 into 7 which is 14 plus 5 is 19 correct similarly 3 into 5 which is 15 and 7 into 4 which is 28 so 28 plus uh, 15 is 43 correct similarly for the next operation we know that which is 1 into 6 plus 2 into 8 correct which is 16 plus 6 which is 22 and for the last 3 into 6 which is 18 and 4 into 8 which is 32 32 plus 18 is 50 so this is how this works and it's really easy and simple you just have to uh, focus on your basics and it is really really important it will be extensively used in the machine learning and deep learning so at least you must have a basic uh, knowledge of this so if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments we can again discuss in any other future videos so in the next video we will learn one more basic thing and then we'll again proceed with the uh, remaining machine learning algorithm topics so these two are important and whenever i feel that it is required for you i'll again take an extra uh, session and i'll try to uh, teach you that so for this video this is it and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day